In this video of CSS, we'll discuss about giving these styles to the text. When I talk about text, that means if you want to make some underline under a particular text or if you want to change the direction or the spacing between the letters or the words and so much more things. So let's see a practical implementation where we will give the possible styles to the texts. So for giving the styles to the text, here what I am doing, I have taken several paragraph tags and in each I am just going through the different changes for the text. Like in the first paragraph what I did, I used the color attribute of style sheet and I have passed any particular value. Like we have already seen, like we have different options of passing the color. Here I am using the keywords and simply I pass red as a color. You can use RGB or any hexadecimal way to pass the color format. So this particular paragraph will be of red color. Now here when I say direction is right to left that means it will be aligned to the right hand side. Similarly when I talk about the letter spacing that means the space between each letter of this paragraph will be of 5 pixel while in the next one when I am passing word spacing it will be 5 pixel means the space will be between the words not between the letters and when I say text indent that means this paragraph will not start from the absolute left position but it will take the space of 1 centimeter from the left side. So let's save this particular page and come to the browser and here when I will refresh it you can see all the things out here like this is the first paragraph with the red color this is right to left where we pass RTL that is right to left this is a paragraph with 5 pixel letter spacing so you can see there is a big gap between the letters while here you can see there is some uh, abnormal space like here you can see there is less space between the words but here it is more because I have passed 5 pixel space and finally this one is the indent where I pass 1 centimeter indent from the left side so as I said it is having a gap of 1 centimeter from the left corner and then the paragraph will begin alright so here let's cover some more examples for the text like here you can see I have used the different options regarding the text like text decoration alright so in text decoration I have several things like I can make it underline line through overline and blink that line through means the line will be passing over the text and overline means it will be up means on the upside of the text while it will show you the blinking text so everywhere I am using the text decoration attribute with the different possible values so let's come to the browser now and here you can see the underline line through overline and blinking text as here you can see blinking is not functioning so it depends on the different browser whether they support the text blinking or not so for now maybe this chrome is not supporting the text blinking now let's go for the another attribute for the text that is the text transform and here I'm using a simple case like uh, when I'm using a when I'm writing a paragraph I'm just using my default way of writing but using these different values I can actually make it in the different way like capitalize uppercase and lowercase so let's save it and come to the browser so here you can see in capitalize what will happen the first letter of each word will be in the caps rest will be in the small but here in the uppercase and lowercase as the name says the complete text will be either in the uppercase or in the lowercase so this is how you can work with the text transform attribute for the text styling and finally we have the attribute called text shadow where I have passed three values that is 4 pixel, 4 pixel and blue that means the shadow will be 4 pixel right, 4 pixel down and will be of blue color so when I'll save and will come here you can see there is a blue shadow in the background which is moved away a bit right so it is 4 pixel right and 4 pixel down to the actual text alright 
I can just show you one more example like I made it 6 pixel, 4 pixel. So when I refresh you can see it is moved bit more towards the right. All right. So it's first one is for the right position. Second one is for the down position. And third one is the color of the shadow. Right. Now if you want to make the shadow a bit blurred you can pass some more pixel for the shadow. So here I will say it is 8px that is 8 pixel. So I'll refresh and here you can see it is giving me more pleasant eff effect, right? So it is 8 pixel of the shadow. So these are all the things which you can do while working with the text in CSS.